New Weapons Channel General Dynamics Land Systems has officially unveiled its Abrams X Future main battle tank concept. This is the first time we have seen the Abrams X concept, which is representative of a future American main battle tank, outside of artwork. The Abrams X very much looks the part of a future tank, with its highly revised turret that features multiple electro-optical sights and a remote weapon station sporting a big 30mm chain gun. The sniper gray-like urban camouflage with countershading along its serrated skirt also gives it a very futuristic look, as does its XM360 derivative 120mm cannon with its ported muzzle brake. But the heavily armored tank's hybrid powertrain buried deep inside it is probably its most exciting feature. General Dynamics says this will result in a whopping 50% fuel saving, the Abrams kerosene guzzling turbine engine has long involved a major logistics versus performance trade-off. This hybrid system will also allow Abrams X to operate silently while sitting idle and possibly for short durations at low speed, which would provide a huge tactical advantage. An unmanned turret with an auto-loading ammunition system makes possible a reduced crew size, down from 4 to 3. This is also a major draw increasing survivability and freeing up space in the turret for more capabilities. Reducing manpower is also high on the list of wants for armies around the world. The Abrams X is lighter than its predecessors, bucking the ongoing trend of increasingly massive M1 variants. The digital backbone for the tank will be the KATALYST Next Generation Electronic Architecture NGEA. It will connect all its systems together and provide for ease of upgradability of its hardware and modification of its software so that the tank can age more gracefully than its forebears and can be adapted more quickly to accommodate changing tactical realities and technologies. There appears to be an advanced sensor suite for the driver as well on the front of the tank's hull that could provide a 360-degree video feed. With the help of augmented reality, this would allow the crew to look through the tank's hull for a major leap in situational awareness, as well as see objects of interest highlighted digitally in their surroundings. Of course, these are just some of the main features that are part of the Abrams X initiative, which also includes the ability to team up with unmanned ground vehicles. While this remains a concept demonstrator, the US Army and America's allies are definitely re-evaluating the fate of the tank after the events in Ukraine. So, future Abrams resembling the Abrams X with its unmanned turret is definitely a possibility. The Russian tank fighter Sprut SDM-1 self-propelled gun is planning to be purchased by India. These vehicles will seriously increase the efficiency of army units. Sprut SDM-1 is a deeply modernized version of Sprut SD, tracked anti-tank self-propelled gun. Compared to its predecessor version, it has significantly increased its firing efficiency due to the improved Sosna U fire control system. The vehicle is armed with a 125mm 2A75 smoothbore gun with the possibility of using 9K119 reflex anti-tank guided missile and two 7.62mm PKTM tank machine guns. Thanks to the armament, the Sprut SDM-1 has a firepower comparable to that of tanks. At the same time it weighs about 2.5 times less and has greater mobility, as it is based on the minus 4 million Bermudian dollars chassis. The combat effectiveness of the vehicle is further enhanced by its airborne and amphibious capabilities. The Indian Army does not have a vehicle of such class. The country's anti-tank defense is based on portable guided missile launchers and 9P148 NAMICA self-propelled guns. The latter are in-house developed on the basis of the Russian BMP-2 chassis. These systems are yet to be adopted into service. Sprut SDM-1, with its low weight and size and enormous firepower could become the best replacement for India's main battle tanks in the difficult mountainous terrain of the Himalayas, greatly increasing the combat capabilities of units deployed there. The new weapons channel reminds us that the Sprut SDM-1 has not yet been adopted by the Russian army and is undergoing state trials. The tracked anti-tank self-propelled vehicle Sprut SD is in service and is the basis for the upgraded version of Sprut SDM-1. See all about the Russian 5th generation fighter Su-57 at the link. See you soon. We are watching how the new generation Russian reconnaissance and attack helicopter Ka-52 Alligator performed complex aerobatic maneuvers as part of planned exercises.
The helicopter performed figures of complex low-speed aerobatics in the sky at an extremely low altitude. The crew performed a funnel, found a target on the ground and began to move in a circle, keeping a mock enemy at gunpoint. In addition, the crew made a hill, a sideways flight with a sharp climb at a speed of 90 km per hour. The exercises were carried out by the Army Aviation of the Eastern Military District. Among the pilots were both experienced military personnel and those who have yet to learn how to perform all these figures. The Ka-52 Alligator is a new generation Russian reconnaissance and attack helicopter capable of hitting armored vehicles, ground and air targets. It is armed with a 2A42 automatic cannon, unguided and guided aircraft missiles, and aerial bombs. The pilots of Army Aviation during the tactical flight exercise carried out the destruction of ground targets. The crews fired unguided rockets and cannon weapons. The search and destruction of targets were carried out in a limited time. This skill is necessary when escorting transport helicopters, reconnaissance of enemy targets, as well as in the free search for targets. Lockheed Martin's promising defiant helicopter was able to reach a speed of 247 knots, about 457 kilometers per hour. Lockheed Martin says the Defiant will be equipped with a state-of-the-art control system that will provide more reliable and safer flights at low altitudes, more obstacles and difficult environmental conditions. The SB-1 Defiant helicopter is being developed as part of the future vertical lift program. To create it, a scheme with a coaxial arrangement of screws of a special design and a pushing screw were used. Experts believe that the new Defiant vehicle can change the face of modern helicopter engineering, in their opinion, the helicopter has unique features during takeoff and landing, climb and develops an unprecedented speed for conventional helicopters.